The rise of bioinformatics, a little boy in the neighborhood of biosciences, how it transformed into a mega superstar or superhero. COVID-19 pandemic, the demon, the monster was right here. And bioinformatics became the shining star, the shining armor in biosciences arsenal, which killed COVID-19 pandemic. Hey everybody, Trey's video is all about bioinformatics, the rise of the superhero, the rise of bioinformatics. And we are also going to chronicalize achievements of bioinformatics in COVID pandemic era and beyond that, and what is the future scope of bioinformatics. Now, for all those who are already aware of the scope of bioinformatics, this video is going to tell you what all can be achieved with the help of bioinformatics. And for those who are unaware of bioinformatics, this video will tell you how this small child of biosciences saved the world. So let's get started by talking about COVID-19 pandemic. The world witnessed it for the first time. Never seen before, never felt before, a small virus from China spread across the world. And as we know it, it caused global meltdown, not just of the economies, but a lot of people lost lives. COVID-19 pandemic was a game changer in biosciences research as well. Because we say it, unless war happens, we don't understand the importance of missiles. Unless a pandemic happens, we don't realize the importance of biosciences. So today, as we are in beyond this COVID-19 pandemic, it's important to see how we exactly came out and what helped us. Virus of SARS-CoV-2, that, that virus, was spreading across the world and we came across the genome sequencing of this virus within two weeks. Within a few weeks, we came out of that and then we, will, we were able to track mutations and variants. So many new variants were coming almost every week. Delta, Omicron, which was most uh, dangerous and spreading rapidly. We were able to do genomic surveillance and then we were able to accelerate vaccine design using AI and protein modeling. Imagine. If bioinformatics was not there, all of this would not have happened. Many Indians lost lives, but at the same time, our scientists rushed in. Uh, globally, there was collaboration and people started working on drug repurposing using bioinformatics. They started using databases of bioinformatics in silico drug discovery started happening, in silico drug simulation started happening. And the entire essence of pandemic is it showed us the power of data. It showed us the power of collaboration. It showed us the power of algorithm and showed us the power of bioinformatics intelligence or biological intelligence. Now, having said that, COVID-19 was an eye opener. But what has happened after that is a game changer. People didn't just realize the importance of bioinformatics in the COVID era. A lot happened. And now I'm going to tell you some of the few key milestones which has made bioinformatics the most coveted science in biotech right now. The first was in January of 2020, Chinese researchers for the first time shared the full genome of SARS-CoV-2 in public databases. Now that was the first time and this enabled the labs worldwide to begin work on diagnostics, therapeutics and vaccine design within a few days. Because earlier we didn't have the genome, now we had that so global collaboration started happening. And then came the era of mRNA platform, Moderna, BioNTech used AI driven RNA optimization platforms to design spike protein encoding sequences and this was done completely through bioinformatics. Followed with that, we are able to reduce the development time from years to weeks. You will not believe when I first time heard of COVID-19 pandemic and the lockdown happened, I also predicted that this is going to be there for the next three years and there will be no vaccine for the next three years because I had never seen a vaccine getting designed so fast. But you know, Human intelligence combined with technology always amazes me. This is where bioinformatics became a superhero. Global databases were opened up, GIS, AID, NCBI, NextTrain, and other real-time sharing of viral sequences started happening. And these public databases for variant tracking and phylogenetic analysis helped us come out with better solutions, better repurposing for the COVID-19 pandemic. Now followed by that, AI for drug repurposing. Now that's something which you might not have heard. Tools like DeepMind's AlphaFold, Benevolent AI, Schrodinger's computational platform, all of that was helping us create antiviral candidates for simulating protein-ligand interaction. 
Now, while all of this is happening, a bunch of scientists started getting into the sewage. You know why? Because wastewater genomic surveillance was one of the key important areas. So, scientists started collecting sewage waters. They started analyzing that. One of my very good friend, uh, Dr. Varsha, was also a part of that. Now, bioinformatics pipelines were used to detect SARS-CoV-2 RNA in sewage. It became an early indicator of community outbreak, like in which community, which particular area there is too much of COVID-19 outbreak and we were able to do lockdown in only those areas, right? Imagine the lockdown happening in the entire country. Instead, we were able to protect a few areas. We were able to lock down a few areas and protect others from it from spreading. Now, another thing which we did a lot during the COVID pandemic is predictive modeling in epidemiology. So bioinformatics tools were used to simulate viral spread, vaccine distribution strategies and population level immune responses. And all of that was happening in real time while you and I were sleeping in home in lockdown, right? Scientists, governments, policymakers, everybody came together and they invested billions of dollars in bioinformatics tools. And that's how this little child became a superhero. Now, what were the key achievements? We got shortest vaccine ever created in the history, came out during COVID pandemic, all thanks to bioinformatics pipelines. Then hundreds of therapeutic leads were screened in silico, narrowing real world testing costs. Then we also cre created libraries, variant identification and classification across countries to tailor make responses for COVID pandemic. And then we also came up with genomic epidemiology dashboards, which helped us in precision public health, which was first time discovered or you know, used during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, while this child now has grown into a superhero, I would like to tell you that you can be a part of bioinformatics growth and exponential growth when you learn bioinformatics. And if you want to learn bioinformatics, Biotechnica is starting a fresh bioinformatics global tools and techniques internship which is starting from 30th of June. The details are given in the description. If you enroll in this, you will also become a superhero. You will get jobs faster and you'll get placement support, work experience letter, and you'll be able to publish papers through Biotechnica's CRO. So that's about the Biotechnica's uh, internship program. Now we'll come back and understand how bioinformatics is the future of biosciences. Now quickly, three minutes, I'm going to explain you what exactly is happening right now. There is an explosion of biological data because now we can sequence things cheaper, better, faster. So human genome, metagenome, single cell omics, microbiome data, all of that is growing exponentially. On the top of it, only bioinformatics can handle, clean, analyze and interpret at this scale. It is impossible to do without it, right? Then we are now seeing integrated science. So genomics, proteomics, transcriptomics, epigenomics, AIML, all of that is coming together and that is breaking newer grounds for all of us. Now, followed by that, we are also seeing precision medicine and personalized therapy for the first time in a better way. Earlier, we used to think and see only in science fiction films in Hollywood, right? Today, we are seeing treatment plans based on patient's unique genome and disease profile, which completely relies on bioinformatics. Even bioinformatics is now being split into two parts where we are calling it as a clinical bioinformatics, where more people are getting hired and then people who have human genetics experience are getting hired even faster. So we are seeing biotech R&D acceleration thanks to bioinformatics. We are able to simulate drug target in interaction. We are able to do pathway analysis. We are able to do CRISPR target prediction. All of this streamlined through bioinformatics. Additionally, because of AIML, so initially it was COVID-19 pandemic. Now because of AIML and deep learning, we are seeing automation. Now, convergence of AI and bioinformatics is helping us create automated drug discovery platforms, synthetic biology platforms and digital twins of our own body in healthcare. Now imagine all of that happens. We will see a huge scope of bioinformatics and that has sparked a global demand for talent, biotech professionals who have bioinformatics knowledge. Now this is now essential across pharma, academia, biotech, CROs, hospitals, and agri-genomics. Cancer oncology, everywhere, cancer biology, everywhere now you need a bioinformatician. How can you become a superpower in bioinformatics? You have to first learn biology, build your foundation in your bachelor's and master's, and then do an internship at Biotechnica, learn coding, learn data science, learn computational biology, learn tools like Python, R, Bioconductor, Galaxy, machine learning models, and then 
बिकम अ बायोफोमेटिक साइंटिस्ट जीनोमिक डेटा एनालिसिस कंप्यूटेशनल बायोलॉजिस्ट और एआई इन ड्रग डिस्कवरी स्पेशलिस्ट नाउ टू समराइज लास्ट 5 इयर्स हैज बीन अ गेम चेंजर कोविड एरा डिडंट जस्ट चैलेंज ह्यूमैनिटी इट आल्सो रिवील्ड अ सुपर हीरो रिमेंबर वी यूज्ड टू सी दिस इन आवर साइंस फिक्शन फिल्म्स दैट ईच टाइम अ मॉन्स्टर कम्स इन देयर विल बी अ हीरो राइट बायोफोमेटिक्स वाज दैट सुपर हीरो ऑफ कोविड पैंडेमिक बट टुडे देयर इज अ शाइनिंग आर्मर इन bioinformatics also and that we call it as artificial intelligence and machine learning so if you learn bioinformatics and then you learn ai ml you are good to go and become the future of biotech industry yes some people will still say it's too early it's too late but if you ask a computer scientist of 1950s he will say that uh, intel is too early a chipset silicon chipset is too early but today the whole world is running on a chipset right in fact you are watching this on a um chipset i'm watching it on a chipset so basically everything every data which is getting recorded is on a computer right so that's where it all goes to using computers to understand the most complex science in the world which is biology we can win now what are your thoughts about bioinformatics let me know in the comment section and if you want to learn bioinformatics do book a free career guidance session with one of our experts you can click on the link below uh, there is a link for whatsapp conversation you can click on that you can directly uh, converse with me and our team of scientists on how can you use bioinformatics in your career you can do a bioinformatics internship at biotechnica and that will help you grow exponentially in the world of biosciences now before i go let me remind you a person who adopts the trend becomes trending right time has come for you to trend in the era of biotech ai and bioinformatics so all the best for your future and thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one till then keep shining take care bye bye